Hi, and welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to talk about the topic of area. Uh, and specifically, we're going to talk about the area of rectangles and squares in this section. Now, everybody's talked and heard about the topic of area. You, you hear it all, all the time in everyday life, and in fact, it's a very useful topic that you'll use all through um, math and all through life. You know, if you're gonna um, if you're gonna mow a lawn, or if you're gonna paint a house, or if you're gonna paint the walls in your bedroom, or if you're gonna do do anything like that that deals with the surface of something, a lot of times you're gonna be talking about the surface area, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, so first, let's recall a few things um, that I think will be pretty clear to you. Um, when, when we talk about them. The first thing I want to talk about is perimeter as, as a review. And uh, just recall, because this is going to go straight into the, to the area that we're going to talk about. Um, just recall for, for a minute that perimeter, perimeter, okay, is the, uh, the area that goes around an object. So if you have a square here, right, here's a square. Remember that the, the term perimeter tells you if you were going to start here at this point, and I'll just use a different color to, to make this clear, if you start at this point and begin to walk around this object, okay, and you begin to walk this way, okay, and then you turn and you start to walk this way, and then you talk, walk this way and you walk this way, right on top of this shape here, and you actually start here and you kind of turn the corners like this, the perimeter is how far you've gone around. It is just simply how far you've gone around this uh, square. So the unit, and this is going to be very important, the unit of perimeter, okay, uh, is just distance, right? Because you're just walking around the uh, edge there. So the unit of perimeter could be, um, you know, miles, if this were a really big square, or meters, or centimeters, or inches, or feet, or, or you know, any, any unit of length. Because you start here and you go so many feet over or so many inches and you turn and you turn and you turn and all you're doing is you're just adding up the distance and so the unit of perimeter is just simply the distance, okay? It's just simply the distance, okay? So I want you to contrast that with the topic of this course, uh, which is the surface area, okay? The surface area. Again, everyone's heard of this uh, um, uh, term, okay, and just like everything else in geometry that we've talked about so far, um, you, you know, everything deals with a definition or a term. So once you understand the terms, everything else becomes super easy. Okay, put simply, uh, without writing a lot of words down, if you look at the same square, perimeter was measuring how far around, okay, you go in the square. Surface area is how much space does this square um, fill, basically. How, how much space does this square fill? Okay, so perimeter is talking about how far around you go the edge, and area is talking about how much coverage do you have by the object itself. So this had, the perimeter had nothing to do with what's inside of this thing, or only indirectly. I mean, all you cared about was how far it took you to go here. Area really doesn't have anything to do with the distance around the edge. It's all dealing with how much coverage this area is. So you might hear in everyday language, you might hear that the surface area of this object is bigger than the surface area of another object. Um, and what that means is that the first object is physically covers a larger area. That's why it's called area, surface area. I'm trying to give you ways to help you remember this stuff. 